Okay, what it do, what it do. We are finally back. Well, I don't want to say finally because I wish the weekend never ended, but we are back from G Fest, was it XXIV? G Fest 24. Woo! I believe this is your first time at G Fest? Yep. 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 Was it worth it? It was totally worth it. It, was, it wasn't Weeby. No. You actually liked it? Yes. You heard it. A female Godzilla fan. Yeah, I know, that's hard to believe nowadays, isn't it? Um. I'm not going to ramble on about experiences and stuff like that because a lot of you click here to see figures, which is why I'm not even in the shop because we don't even have enough space to do that, honestly, which is why we got this weird table set up because we actually kind of went a little crazy here and bought a lot of figures. So we're just going to jump right in. Do you want to go first with what you bought on day one? Um, sure. Go ahead. All right. This first thing I actually got from my friend Andy, Godzilla. I bought it from for 10 bucks and it is Bandai King Caesar. The first thing that I got on day one actually was kind of a gift. It is um, for my good friend Jacob Miller, um, brothers with Nathan Miller Films, Nathan, love my boys. He uh, he said he hated this figure because he doesn't like the pose and he was going to sell it to me. And originally it was $40, and then it went down to 20 and then he said he hated it so much that he sold it to me for a dollar. And I might, I might be stupid. Or maybe um, just you shouldn't trust your friends as much as I do. But he said he sold it to me for a dollar. And then like a day before the convention, he was like, Alright, I feel bad. We're kind of pranking you about the dollar thing. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But he felt so bad because I really wanted this in my collection. But he ended up giving it to me. And I really thank you for that. Because um, you might not have liked the figure that much. But I honestly really, really love this guy. The X Plus USA Godzilla 1964. A little scuffed up here and there. But I think these um, X Plus USA figures are kind of neat. They're not on par with any other X Plus, but I personally love them. The next figure I got was, I didn't expect to get it, but I ended up getting it. And I love it. And I love the color of it. And it's the Godzilla Theater Exclusive 2000. And I love this sparkly orange color. And it just looks real neat. How much you pay for it? $35. 35 bucks. That's pretty good. The next thing I bought on day one, or actually the first thing, if you want to get tangled here, is... Where you at? Where you at? The... I went to uh, Vampire Robots, because, you know, he's a really good booth, he's a real cool guy. I bought the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 1984. Right there. My boxes are currently being used as a weird tripod, so forgive me. Yeah, I bought him for 160 mint condition, which is a retail price for any new diamond release, so I'm not going to complain about that price at all. Um, I needed an 84 in my collection, and I was debating on whether or not to get a Memorial Box 84 or an X Plus, but since I'm kind of becoming an X Plus guy, I had to pull the trigger on him. Pretty cool. Pretty neat buy. Next thing I got, I actually got with the Godzilla 2000, and it is um, the Purple Theater Exclusive. GMK Mothra. I got this and the Godzilla 2000 for 60 bucks together. The next thing I bought, um, not a surprise, it's another X Plus, and this is my first Sakai figure, which is real freaking neat. The Diamond Reissued X Plus 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai modeling collection, Godzilla 2001, and my tail stand is over there, but I'm not getting it for the video. I now, a lot of, every dealer had this for $220, which is good price for a Sakai figure, because, you know, the, the detail's just that much better, it's got the Sakai brand on it, but for some reason, Tempting Toys, shout out to them, because, you know, they're such a good booth, he was selling his for $175, and I said, bet, and that's how much I got it for, and I feel like I practically stole him for that price, because even some of the Diamond Reissue figures go higher than that, so, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool. This pretty much wraps it up for my day two. I didn't get a whole bunch. Well, no, no, actually, I, actually, I think I got one more figure. Did I? I don't know. We'll find out. Next thing, um, actually, Joey got, but he gave it to me. He got it from Louis Duran. Louis Duran. And it is a Treadmaster's Gigan. It's got a button. I don't know what it does because it doesn't work. But it's, a, it's pretty neat. To, it's supposed it was, to roar. My first Gigan. 
Yeah, Lewis was selling a couple figures, and you know, best friend. I was like, I didn't. At first, I kind of wanted it, but then I didn't want it. But Rand needed some more figures in our collection. I thought it'd be a good little gift, so I helped him out with two bucks. I don't know what that two bucks went towards, Lewis, but heck yeah. Ah, uh, I was just saying I think I bought something else on day two, and I'm looking over my stuff, and I don't want to be called a liar. I, I mean, day one. Day one. It's day one. It's not day two yet. We'll just wait till day two. No, we actually got a bag of figures from free from a kid that we maybe he was in a rush. We don't know because Rayan's dad actually received the bag, but it actually contained a figure that I was going to buy anyways because I don't own it. The Bandai uh, was it movie monster series or whatever. Uh, Godzilla 2004. Not my favorite film, but a figure that I kind of needed in my collection for the sake of completionism. So I got him for free instead of paying 20 bucks, which is also a good deal for a figure like that. Alright, the next thing I got was actually my second buy, and it is this Anguus. <laughs> Anguus? It's pretty neat. I liked him. I got him for $15, and I like his nice color, this nice gold color on him. Yeah, that, I've got the Godzilla Island series, and I feel like that coloration is just better. Is that a word? Coloration. I don't know. But yeah, I think you got the better in gear so. Now, do you have any more day one buys? I have two more. I might let you go, because I'm done with day one. I bought the majority of my things on day two. Alright, so I guess I'm going. Next thing I got was this uh, Bandai... Little Godzilla from Space Godzilla. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And he is the most adorable thing I've ever seen, and I just couldn't not get him. And I love him so very much. And kind of going along with that, I got Baby Godzilla, and he is also the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And now I got a little duo of Baby and Little Godzilla. Heck yeah. Yeah. All right, I think that wraps up for day one. We're going to go straight to day two. Day two was huge, by the way. Um, the first thing I bought on day two, which was, let me look over my figures here and make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Yep, nope. The first thing I bought on day two was the... I, th I think these are event exclusives, I'm not sure, but these aren't very desired. It's just I needed a Baragon sculpt in my collection, and I didn't want to pay a lot of money for a Baragon at the moment. But I got the orange version of the GMK Baragon, because the red one kind of sucks. The orange one, it, it just sticks out more, so I decided to get him. He was at the M1 table. Um, yeah, M1 actually came out the G-Fest this year, and they were selling figures. And they were selling Bandai for some reason. And they had him for 20 which is already a good deal. I would have paid 20 but I was feeling lucky. Um... I asked her if she could do 15, and I think her name was Yuchi, Yugi, I can't remember their names at the top of my head, but she kind of laughed and said yeah, so I got him for $15 with tag, so that was a pretty good deal. Going along with the M1, I got my favorite figure, and Joey's favorite figure that I bought, which is the Godzilla 2000 M1. Actually, a funny story, I messed up during Richie's What Did You Buy uh, video and said it was a marmot, embarrassed myself, and... Idiot. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm really jealous of that, actually, because that the more I look at it, the more I want that figure now. Ooh! Rain, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you mentally. Please don't. How much did you get it for you? 90. 90? Now, okay. Okay, yeah, 90 was a good deal. I would've, I would've asked for 80, because I'd rather have the header card, honestly. But he did pretty good on that. She really did surprise me, though, because... She kind of walked up to me and had it in a bag, and I was like, what'd you buy? She pulls out M1 Godzilla 2000, I'm like, whoa! Crazy. The only other thing I bought on day two. Now, this... Oh, no, I got another figure on day two. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that. I'm going to use this first. The next thing I got on day two... Sorry, guys, this is kind of unprofessional sounding. I didn't really go over... I can't remember which days I bought stuff, so... I'm kind of an idiot. The Bandai... Standard Biolante, and originally I was going to pay $120 because I needed this figure in my collection. But when I picked her up, I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah. You in the shot? Yeah. We're using a new camera, by the way, so we're just kind of messing around here. 
you see one of her tusks is actually broken. There's a hole. A small hole. If it was any more broken than this, I would have threw it, but it was small enough for me. It, like, honestly, at a distance, it was on the table in the hotel, and I barely noticed it, so I uh, showcased that kaiju. I was like, yo, it's, she's broken. What can you do for me? He said, 60 bucks. Now, when are you going to buy a Biolante for 60 bucks? So I went ahead and bought her. Um, I'm probably going to have her displayed by her side, but for $60, I thought that was an a absolute steal. Move your M1 over. Move it. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, we might have to pause the video and move all these figures down because we still have a ton more to go through. Alrighty. My next figure was a Memorial Box Gigan. I bought another Gigan, so now I have two. And I really like this because um, the gold paint is really vibrant, and I like that... I just love how pretty it looks. I also like having another guy again. And I got him for $20. $20 for Memorial Box figure, by the way. Like, you got it from Showcase again, right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to get in the shot real quick just to show this off. Uh, my boy Jonte got one of these too. Um, I'm probably really close to the camera right now, but when you spend enough at Showcase, they'll hand out um, the Showcase shirt. So I'm repping it. I love this shirt more than I should, honestly. You know, Showcase is just good if you want to get some really good deals. They're nice people. They're willing to negotiate. They're um, pretty nice guys. So if you're at GFest next year, definitely check that table out. The next figure I bought, I was going to pay more for, but, uh, you know, I did a little more lurking, a little more looking around, and I ended up getting this for a literal steal. I got this figure for $250. Normally, many of you know, it goes for around $400. But I went to the Kaiju Modeler table, and they had a batch selling for 200 I bought the X plus 25 centimeter King Ghidra that's right I finally own one of these big some bitches and I love him to death her mom ran up to me because we were looking at one earlier for it was like 300 or 350 and she's like oh my god Joey 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 this, this dude's selling him for 250 we ran over I took a look and instantly pulled the trigger I'm extremely happy with this it's the best Ghidra figure, in terms of realism, it's the best Ghidra figure ever made, in my opinion, uh, to date. Um, you can have, you know, you can debate that, like, G Giga Brain's cooler, but in terms of suit accuracy, this figure knocks it out of the park, and I'm very happy with it. It might be the best in my haul this year, but I'm not sure. I'm very happy I ended up with that figure. Alright, next figure I got was actually from the kid who gave us all these free figures, and I'm thankful, and... Cause like, I mean, every everybody has this. She needed it, so I was kind of happy that I she mean, got it. If you're watching, thank you for all these figures, because they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, we I wanted to you. find you and pay you, like, actually, like, we felt kind of bad, but, you know, we couldn't find you anywhere. And I got this Godzilla 92, and... You're stomping on the Jet Jaguar. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Jaguar. Oh. Jaguar. Just because I didn't want to explain it. Um, when you shop at Tempting Toys, they'll give you a mini flying Jet Jaguar. Um, my boy Andy finally got one of those, and so did I. And I'm pretty happy with it. I could, yeah, it's unpainted, but I think that's the only flying Jet Jaguar. There might be a bull mark or marmot or something like that, but to my knowledge, I think that's the only flying Jet Jaguar we've seen. So that's pretty cool. Is it, is it my turn? Yeah. Going? Oh. Um, I think that's it for day two. Let me look at my stuff real quick. No, that's it for me on day two. Um, yeah, pretty much day one and day two were really big buys. Um, day three, I bought more than I expected. No, I was lying. I'm just a big liar today. <laughs> on the floor. I got this from Radioactive Toys for $70, and I was happy with paying $70 for this. Because I needed it in my collection. I, um, this year I sought out to get some more monsters that I didn't have, like Biolante and this guy. Megalon, 8-inch. Uh, I'd rather have the YMSF, but the Bandai will do just fine. Really love him. Alright, so do you want me to finish on my day too? Oh, well, obviously, yeah. Alright, <laughs> so I got this Ultraman Tiga along with in the stuff of free toys. And... It's my first Ultraman figure. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Yeah. Um, sorry if we seem a little stale. We had a really, we had a decently long car ride. No sleep over the weekend, so we're kind of 
we're feeling a little bad. But I want to make this video, so if I don't seem very exciting, blast me in the comments for it. Okay, I was going to mention it earlier in the video, but I didn't get around to it. Sorry, uh, the, the, we ran out of space, so we had to upload it to the computer and then restart. Also, we moved some figures around to make more space for other figures, so if it looks any different, that's why. Continue on with day two. All right. My next figure, which is probably my second favorite figure I bought, was an SH Monster Arts GMK Godzilla. And... You know, hold on. Hold on. You, what? You could probably put that on the back, right? Um, probably. Let's see, real quick. Keep going, keep explaining. Okay. Um, I wanted to buy something big, so this was my something big. And I told myself I was going to get something GMK before I left, or a GMK Godzilla before I left. And I just kind of went for it. I said, you know what? I'm going to get this. And I got it. I opened it, and it was a really neat figure. Um, excuse my brother if you hear him squealing and like, yelling like a freak in the background. But uh, how much you pay for it? I paid 80 for it. He's um, actually having a mental breakdown in his room right now. Uh, maybe, if you can hear it, uh, there you go. Have a couple laughs. Do you still have day two? Yes. Keep going. All right. Next thing was my birthday present from my boyfriend himself. Yeah. And it is a burning go-go. And all I said was that I wanted a burning go-go, and then he came up to me and said, Here you go. Have this. Happy birthday. And then I said, Wow. Thank you. I love it. I got him for 50 bucks at Radioactive Toys, which seems a little pricey, but that's what they were going for. I think Showcase had some for 30 but they were sold out by the time I got there. But I, I think even 50 is a good price, because the more I hold it, the more jealous I get of it, honestly. All right, next thing I got, um, Mecha Godzilla. He's pretty neat. I really wanted to get, um, basically like every, every figure I could of different variety. So I got Mecha Godzilla, and yeah, he's he's real neat. I uh, like him a lot. I got him for twenty, I think. Next, we got, in the stuff of free figures, we have got Gamera, and this is my first Gamera, and I was really excited because I don't have a Gamera, and now I do. Next, we also got another figure that I wasn't expecting on getting, but it was in the free bag yeah, she got. Stuff. I gave her a majority of the stuff in the free bag because she needed kaiju so and we got Rodan that's um I don't know Lewis and was it Javante we're having a little trade with the movie monster series and the pink tag and um I don't like Final Wars that much so I don't really collect Final Wars figures so I'm not really sure on which version that is I think that's the movie monster series because it's got the black highlights and stuff so Lewis or someone, tell me in the comments, because I'm honestly completely forgotten. Alright, we got one last thing for my day two, which actually I didn't buy this, my dad bought this, because he really liked it, and uh, Joey, what's the name? It's, <laughs> throw it over here, I'll put it on the table. <clears throat> okay, we're going right in front of the camera and show everyone. I don't want to throw it. Well, now you know what it is, guys. Um, her dad bought Ark Belial. It was up for 50 and uh, I think he got down to 45 which is a pretty good deal for this figure because he's actually decently large for a Spark Doll DX figure. Yeah, Ark Lyle. Alright, we're moving on to day three, and I think after we fill this space, I'm going to pause and wipe this table because we've got even bigger figures. So yeah, I'm going to start with day three. Day three, day three, day three. Last day of G Fest. Kind of sad, but at the same time, we got some good, good buys. Um, I went over to a table that's usually in the front when you walk in, and I paid 60 Yeah, I paid $60 for it, and I wanted to get this kaiju, 
I was kind of in Andy's boat of the one he got because I wanted to just rush in and get him so I could have one in my collection. But I didn't end up buying it because I got this one instead. It is the Marmot Vinyl Paradise Glow in the Dark Varen figure. And some people don't like Marmot and even more people don't like unpainted figures. But I can tell you that if it was painted, I it would look really freaking cool because the sculpt's really nice. I really like the head sculpt if you just look at the details. But also, the Marmot glow figures are some of the brightest glow-in-the-dark figures I've ever seen. Um, I might fill some pictures in the video right now that I take, but it's really cool to see at night. Yeah. Ran. All right. So day three was kind of me buying some smaller figures because um, I didn't have a lot of money left. And I got these chibis. This one was actually Joey's, but he traded me. Uh, I don't want to get it, but it's the, it's the orange 94 chibi. We got a Mothra. We got this, uh, I actually got an, a Red Angiris and King Ghidorah for both a dollar. And that was a pretty good deal from Radioactive Toys. I got a Space Go Go. I have got another King Ghidorah, but not red. GMK. Yeah. That's, that's another chibi I really like. I don't collect chibis, but there's some of them that I think have really good scores. And I got this really cool black Godzilla. I love this one a lot just because of the glossy color on it. Where am I going to put this? There we go. <laughs> put it on top of the GMK box. Thank you. Alright. Is that all the... Did you get more? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know if you want me to do them all right now. I got these little dioramas, both for one dollar. One is I'm trying to get so you can see it. One is Space Go Go. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna Rodan over. Sorry, Rodan. One is Destroya pulling Go Go. Go Go Zillow. And I found those really neat, just because they're tiny, but they also are like enemies and. Yeah. Next thing I bought on day three, I'm trying to remember the exact chronological order I bought these things, so give me a second. It should be this. If I've got room, I'll show you. I know, Rayanne, you're the one looking at the screen right now, so you can tell me if this is in the shot or not. Uh, let me move him back. Um, if you were at G-Fest or if you read about it, you would know that one of the special guests was um, artist Yuji Kaida. He does a lot of model kit boxes, a lot of Godzilla art, and he's a fantastic artist. So I went over to Radioactive Toys and I got this model kit with his art on the cover for 10 bucks. And then I went over and for 30 I got a picture with him, which I'll put in the video now. And his signature, and he's such he was such a nice, humble man. I really loved meeting him. There it is. Uh, what fit? Signature's right there. Yeah, he signed it, got a picture with us. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna put this right here because I think we can fit like one more thing up here before I gotta wipe the table. All right. So the next thing I got was everybody's gonna think this might be a little weird, but I got it for one dollar, and it was this Godzilla without any arms. But oh, he got nubs. It's got little nubs. So, but I really like the color of this, and it was a. Uh, one dollar so I mean it's not that big of a loss for yeah. no arms makes sense makes sense all right um, my next day three buy um, as I was saying earlier M1 was there and I felt kind of not obligated in a bad way but I felt like I had to buy some kind of M1 figure while they were there because it's pretty it's not like you see representatives from Bandai with new Bandai sculpts come in to sell them it doesn't really happen that often especially with companies like M1, and I know Marmot is a lot of GFX exclusives, but I thought it was just kind of cool that people from the company were there selling figures, and I thought I'd say hi, you buy something, and it was even better that it was my favorite suit. This is the Bullmark slash M Ichigo, M1 Jigo, whatever you call it. Um, I'm not well versed in the stylized figures yet, so forgive me if I mess some things up. But this is from 2002. The 1973 through 75 Bullmark Godzilla. My Mega Goji was my favorite suit, so I really, really liked this guy. 
I like the sculpt. The colors were really funky. Blue, yellow, silver, and red. And overall, I really, I, honestly, when I first saw it, I liked the header card more than the actual figure, which might be really weird, but, you know, whatever. I don't, don't care. I paid $60 for him, and I'm really happy with that purchase. I did not mind handing him one my money. Nice. Love it. All right, so next thing is this little Godzilla diorama with a little mountain in the back, but it's got a little thing on there that you could stick on. I haven't been able to get it. Joey got it once. Yeah, those. So... I believe those are the Yuji Sakai diorama pieces or whatever. There's like a lot of them, but she got the Terror of Mechagodzilla one. And she surprised me with that too. Didn't you get it for like, what, a dollar, two dollars, something like that? Three dollars, I think. Three bucks. Three bucks for that, which is pretty good to come complete three dollars. You can you can just share those next things. I mean. All right. So I got this little tiny GMK for a dollar. He's a little sticky, but that's okay because he was a dollar. And he's so adorable. I got a little another GMK. And Joey's actually jealous that he does not have one of these. Oof. I got a little tiny Jet Jaguar from the M1 table. It's from the M1 table, but do you remember who made it? No. Yeah, uh, Iwakura, or Iwakura, it, however you pronounce it. Um, it was those little bag, little figures. There were some like Baragon, Gorosaurus, Godzilla, Jet Jaguar. Woo! And she paid five bucks for that, I think. Yeah. Then, on day three, I'm just gonna explain this because I'm tired of being silent. Uh, what's it? Exian Japanese Imported Toys. They were giving out free Ultra figures like 10 minutes before the dealer's room closed for good. And she got herself an Ultra 7. And now that I'm talking about this, I just realized I got one as well. It's Ultraman Leo, but he's way up there with my Spark Doll Leo. So I can't really get behind there at the moment to get him, but I got one as well. Oh. No, wait, um, actually, before you do that. Aha. This, I, um, technically got on day one. I just forgot it was over here. I traded one of my really, really good friends, Chris, Chicken Man on Instagram and Chicken Man on YouTube. I traded him the 18 inch Kong Skull figure for like $10 and this Eloking Spark doll because Eloking is one of my favorite Ultra Kaiju and I don't have an Eloking figure. So that's pretty cool. I really, I, honestly, I don't like the Spark dolls because they're smaller, but they're still kind of cool for what they are. They're cheap. They're pretty decently sculpted, so I thought that was neat. Nice. All right, my last buy from day three is this Ghidorah, and oh, his wings are a little messed up, but that's all right. I got him for twenty dollars. Um, this is my first Ghidorah. It's pretty. It's pretty neat. Why can't I keep my hands straight? We got a lot of Ghidorah this convention, though. Just saying. I um, I love him for being a first Ghidorah. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this. You don't know. I, I bet we could fit. Room. I bet we could fit it there somewhere. Uh, no, we can't. Um, I'm just gonna set it like right there, just for the sake of the video. Yeah, he kind of fits in there. All uh, right, the next things that we bought. Or that I bought because is, is that all your day three stuff? Yep. All right, she's done. The last things I bought will not fit on this table, and as much as I want to get everything in the shot, I think it might be impossible. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is pause the video, move some figures over, then we'll reshoot. Okay, the next thing that I bought on day three is the largest, or the now largest figure in my collection. For a while it was the gigantic series Burning Godzilla, you can see back there, but the how I got my showcase shirt and um, just for what I paid for it, such a big item, as soon as I saw them put the new price tag, because he was selling for 220 and then they put him down for 150 and I instantly grabbed it for anyone else to even see it. I bought the great monster series Bandai Godzilla 1964. Rayan, can you tell me if that's his head? Um, yes, his head. His head's in the shot. Alright. 
Yeah, this is now the largest figure in my collection, and I'm very, very happy with mine. There's scuffs here and there, but, you know, you see so many of these, like, for over time, the weight will make them lean forward really bad, or their face will be smushed in, but mine is, aside from sp paint scuffs, it's in immaculate condition. And this was made in 1988, I probably should do my homework, but I can't, I'm not sure if this is the reissue, or if this is the first one. I think it's the reissue because the gray paint looks a little brighter, I mean, I don't know. But for $150, um, you get a piece of Bandai history, and if you're a Bandai collector, you definitely, definitely need to find this and get it in your collection because it is amazing, and I'm going to sleep with it every night, and I'm going to marry it. The second to last thing that I bought at G-Fest 24, I bought this for two reasons. One, it was cheap, and two, I liked it, actually three reasons, and three, solely to make Louis Duran mad because I thought it'd be funny, and so did Andy. The next thing I bought was the, I think they're DX, I don't know, DX or electronic Godzilla 2000 box set that comes with the 8 inch, I think it's 8 inch, I don't know, I'm kind of kidding, Ghidra. Um, Godzilla 2000 and Orga. Now, the reason this made Lewis mad is because well, I paid $60 for this set in box, which is a really, really good deal because I remember when they were going for over 100 a few years ago. And let's see, Lewis, he thought he could be cool and buy a tagged 6 inch Orga for $70, which is a pretty good deal. Mint condition. He, uh, he actually just uploaded his haul video not too long ago, so. If somehow, by now, you don't know about Louis Duran, go check that out. But, you know, then I walk up to him. I think Andy vlogged it, and we were just, like, walking around, and... Um, we showed him that I got this whole set with an Orga figure for 60 He was pretty mad. He kind of just walked off and gave me a mean look, but it was, um... We are just joking around, having a good time. I'm pretty happy with it. At first, I thought I didn't need it, and I thought I'd do it for the meme. But now that I've got it home and I'm really looking at it, I appreciate it a lot more. And I can't wait to take them out and display them on top of their really rad-looking box. The last figure that we purchased from GFS24 um, is a figure that I needed in my Bandai collection, personally. It's not in mint condition, and it doesn't have its tag, but... I'd say it's not even like new, it's in good condition. I paid my last 70 for it because it was the best looking one in the dealer's room. Um, a lot of people's were really scuffed up, but this one's pretty good. I don't see any scuffs except for the backs of the wings, but I, they're not that noticeable. I bought the GMK Ghidra, or I can't remember if he's Ghidorah in that movie, I don't know why they had to change it. but. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, Ghidorah slash Ghidra this year. Got some Bandai and some X+. Plus. So that pretty much finishes off the video. We spent... No, it, do... no, it doesn't. I'm... I'm lying a lot this video. I'm sorry. Every time I look over, I see something new to show off. No, um, Javante and my girlfriend and I, um, Goji Franklin, we were going through the dealer's room after it shut down and they were cleaning up all the trash and stuff. And some dealer threw these away. Now, Rand, tell me if that's all the way in or is it too close? Can you see if up we can? A little bit. Up. Is that so, like, up. Up, up? Yeah. Oh, cool. But uh, what, the, <laughs> what these are is they're um, Godzilla DVD box sets that come with special edition DVDs of the movie and t shirts and booklets and stuff like that. And they took the shirt and the DVD out and they just threw the boxes away. And I thought the boxes were really, really cool. So we kept a couple of those. We split them up two. Two boxes per person. We've got a Mothra one. One of my favorite ones that we found was this Atragon one. Really cool. Then, last one is Rodan. I can't remember which one Javante got, but you know those are pretty cool. I thought, you know, why throw them away? We can use them as pretty good backgrounds to our displays. Yeah, that sums up this long and pretty enormous haul. I have to say, I'm kind of impressed with our haul this year. We spent a lot of money, but I don't care about the money. I care about the toys, obviously. Um, I had so much fun. Um, I was almost at the point of crying last night on Sunday before we left. And, you know, just 
I had such fun being with my friends. King Goji, um, 2002, I think that's your username. Uh, that's John Tay, one of my boys. These are all my best friends, guys. Um, Jacob and Nathan Miller Films, uh, Andy Goodzilla, Javante Goji Franklin, uh, Louis Duran, yeah. We're, we're famous for being best friends with the one and the only hacker man, Louis Duran. Um, who else is there? Guido Goji. Um, I don't want to forget anybody, but I feel like I'm forgetting people, and I don't want to forget somebody and feel bad afterwards. But, no, I said Nathan. Yeah, I said Nathan and Jacob. Oh, I didn't Ian! We got Ian and Chris. Um, I'll think of it after the video and get upset if I forgot somebody. But man, I, I love all of you guys. We're, I love you like brothers. You know, each year we hang out, it gets better and better and better. And I can't wait for the hangouts call tonight. I can't wait to get this video uploaded. And I was sad yesterday, but now I'm just like hyped up. 361 days till GFest 25. Let's start. Let's start that up. Um, thank you guys. This video is probably really long, but you know, if you stayed through it all, thanks for the support. I met some fans too. I, I don't know. Like I said, we were tired, so I keep forgetting things. I met. Um, I. Gonna be completely honest, I forget their names, but I know I posted about some on my Instagram, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support. I know it was only like maybe three, four, maybe five of you guys, because I'm such, you know, I'm small on YouTube and technically small on Instagram, but this was my first year interacting with fans, and it was probably the coolest moment um, that I've experienced as a YouTuber. A lot of people were used to that stuff, but, you know, for me, I just thought it was just really cool to meet people. You know, I, it was just such a good weekend. I gotta stop rambling, because this is for the experience video, but, um, yeah, just thank you guys. I love you guys all so much. Thanks for making this the best weekend of my entire life, and I can only hope that next year is better. Rand, do you have anything to say before we shut this off? I just want to say that thank you to everyone that made my first G-Fest so great and so memorable and I love you all. I'm gonna post more G-Fest vlogs. We've vlogged so much this year. I'm gonna have tons of vlogs coming up, um, pictures, slideshows, hopefully some more live streams again. I just, I'm so hyped up and ready to, you know, just upload it videos and videos and videos. I was on the Fresh Final Live panel. I'll upload my part of that. Um, another guy, Goji Greek. I just thought of another person. I I think your name was not Chris. I can't remember your real name. I'll DM you on Instagram. But he's another X Plus collector who's even younger than me. And I'm like astounded by the amount of X Plus this kid has. He works really hard. I got to meet him this year and he's a really, really cool dude. Um, yeah, this video is getting really out of hand, so I'm going to shut it off here. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for making this weekend the best weekend of my entire life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you!